And today I'm going to show you how to make a brain point cloud. In one of my previous videos I showed you how to make a skull point cloud and for that we needed a CT scan um, because that's optimized for capturing bone. For, an MRI, uh, for a brain uh, we need an MRI because that is what's going to show you all the little wrinkles and creases and furrows in a brain. Um, in a CT scan the brain is basically just going to be the space uh, inside of the skull and it won't have any of those details. So first let's open 3D Slicer and let's click this button to download sample data. And we're going to use this very first example, MR head. So just click on that and it'll load. And so you can scroll through here and just see how much detail you have on the brain, um, which you, you know, you don't get that on a CT scan. And that's what we want to make a nice pretty uh, point cloud. And um, if you've never worked with an MRI before or you know you don't know how to segment a brain or whatever it's no problem because 3D Slicer has all kinds of automated tools to do this for you to segment it out and so we're gonna go click on the search button up here to find the module that we need I'm just gonna type in brain and we're gonna choose the HD brain extraction tool switch to module so it already has our MR head volume listed as input. For outputs, you can see what it's going to give us. So it's going to give us a skull stripped volume. So basically it's going to remove everything except for the brain. Um, so we're just going to say create new volume. And it's also going to spit out a brain segmentation that you could then go on and work with if you wanted to. But we're mostly interested in this volume that's going to be produced. So um, under brain segmentation, just go ahead and say create new segmentation so you can see what it does. Let's see, device, this says CPU or GPU. Um, I have a lot of RAM on my CPU, so maybe I'll try that and see if it's uh, faster. Um, you could just leave it on auto and see how long it takes. And let's click apply. Okay, we are back. Oh my gosh, that took minutes. CPU might have been a bad idea. Um, but anyways, you'll see that our volume down here has changed. So we now have a volume that only contains the brain data. And that looks really cool. If we go up to our drop down up here and check segment editor, you'll see that it also um, created a segmentation if you wanted to work with that and like make a 3D model. So if you wanted to save that, you could. Um, yeah, it actually looks really good. There's a lot of detail in there, but I'm just going to hide that um, and hide the mask so you can just see the grayscale of the brain volume. And that looks very nice. So now we're just going to click Save. We're just going to go ahead and save... You could save the whole scene and save everything, but I suppose I'm just going to say, oh, I don't want to save the original. I'm just going to save the stripped, um, MR head stripped and uncheck everything else and make sure you change directory for, um, for the files to find the one that you actually want. And then, um, or you can click it from right here, the three dots and find it. I just made a folder on my desktop and click save. And then I'm going to close out of this and open Paraview. Okay, so now I have Paraview open and I'm going to um, navigate to my desktop folder and bring in that MR um, head stripped volume. Okay, here's my folder. Get this maximized again. And it, um, if you've used Paraview before, um, yeah, I just dragged and dropped this nerd volume in here. It's just one file and it contains all of that um, MRI data that we need for our brain. And it defaults to just not showing it, which is fine. Um, so just click on it and click apply. And then um, we're going to go down here to make this a little bigger representation and we want to see it as a volume. And there you can see there's no extra data around it. It's just the brain, right? So that looks really cool. And we can use our left click mouse and um, do that. And then 
So now we can change, um, we can go over here to the right under mapping data and, you know, choose one of these um, color maps. And if you click on this little icon here that's like black and white, then it just inverts it. Ooh. So let's find one that's colorful. Maybe like this rainbow desaturated. Well, that looks kind of cool. And if you remember from, if you followed along with the skull point cloud, we kind of had to find like a threshold and everything to isolate just the um, voxels that had bone. But with this, because we have a very, we have a clean MRI that doesn't have extra data, um, we don't even have to do that. So now I think I like this color, maybe. And we're going to go up to filters. Um, alphabetical and just say convert to point cloud click apply remember it drops it up here but it's not visible yet until we click apply and then we can hide our um, previous one and under representation it's showing it's showing it as a surface for some reason I don't, I don't know why that's default when it's not a surface but anyways let's um, Make sure that our convert to point cloud is highlighted and then go file, save data. And I'm just going to save it in the same folder and I'm going to call it my brain PC uh, point cloud. Click OK. And enable coloring, which we want. And you can say enable alpha too. Um, that's transparency for some of the points, so let's click OK. OK, so I see that it's saved here. Open MeshLab and get this point cloud in there just to see how it looks. To make this folder a little bit smaller. Okay, well, it looks like it, it um, the values of zero, which was black, um, did get included in the uh, convert to point cloud here, but that's okay because we can um, go to information um, in MeshLab and click T for vertex. And we're just going to click on one of these outside points that are blue. <sighs> can and we see because it looks like they should all be the same color um, so the color value is 71 71 219 alpha 0 if I click around you keep get, seeing that that same color value so let's get rid of that okay so uncheck the info button and we're gonna say select select um, we want to select by color. And we're going to put in the RGB color value. Click the black so we can put in the colors. It was 71, 71, 219. Alpha was 0. OK. We could say preview. And we could reduce the variation if we want so that it's just picking that color. That way it's not getting going into our brain. Um, so let's say apply to select those. And then let's just delete them. So this button up here is to delete selected vertices. Ta -da! Now we have a brain. Okay, so now let's save that as a new point cloud. So we'll go file, export mesh as. Brain PC Ed. And we want the color. Normal's fine. Um, okay. And um, now you can, this is just a, a colorized point cloud. And so, you know, in MeshLab, you can also 
um, use the dot decorator and so it just creates like a little sphere for each point and you can play around with the size and then um, in a separate video I'm going to show you how to view this in uh, Blender. So have fun playing around with this. You can upload this to Sketchfab and you can play around with the settings um, like I showed you before uh, with the skull point cloud. So here's my uh, brain point cloud that I um, have on Sketchfab. Alright, have fun playing with that.